We had a beautiful day today. A little windy, but it is gorgeous. Now I want to walk all the way down there, so I haven't even started detecting yet. I want to get down there. But just a quick eyeball on the beach. I'm not sure what this is, but it sure does look brass or copper. Uh, some kind of cap. I see the writing on it. That is strange. I love the design on the outside. Cool. Got a pretty cool brass piece out of this hole in the sand. I've seen these before, the little lock switch plates. So it seems to have a little design on it. Maybe a letter. This is a fun example of how stuff gets collected in these little nooks. I threw out some spoils here to look through and I accidentally swept over here and got a whole bunch of serious signals. And now you, as you can see, initially there's a lot of bolts and brass in there. So I'm gonna pick through it right now. That looks like a cool piece right here. Some kind of square nail. That might actually be a coin under there. Couple of these pieces out of here. All these would give off a signal. Obviously, there's that tiny little piece. And there's no way to, there's a little gear. There's no way to distinguish that's a big bolt. That would give off one signal. There's more bolts. Here's something. Oh, I thought that was round. That's junk. Let's look and see at that. Yep, that looks like a penny. Pennies and dimes in this area get destroyed, so it's, uh, it's a weedy. Probably won't be able to see the date on that. And let's piece through. Looks like a bigger bolt there. i put everything right here for now. A lot of little bolts in here. Jeez Louise, look at these things. More brass nails. All collected in this one little hole. Let's take a little look how tiny that is. Tasting something. It'd be nice if there were some more coins in here. Brass junk. Oh, that's about it. All those little nails. I don't see any other coins. Gotta keep your eyes open in this place with this bunch of stuff lying around and all these stones. <clears throat> Every once in a while your eyes keen to something that looks a little different. I picked up this big bolt here. I saw it sitting there and I looked down at it and just a little bit to the right. Now I don't think this is anything spectacular. It's just not anything you see regularly here. So I'm gonna pick it up. Looks like a gumdrop. I think it might be glass. piece of very pretty colorful glass. I'm tempted to taste it and make sure it's just not some kind of piece of candy, but I think that's glass. And I don't know what it's for. I imagine it would smell grapeish, but it doesn't have a smell. But uh, I'm going to take that home because I don't see that often. And I'll pick up that little piece of grass bolt. I'm going to see if there's anything else lying around here to that. I guess it's as good as mine. What is that? It's got a line in it so it does look manufactured maybe. There's a pile I tossed up with a signal in it and I just figured I'd videotape it because I immediately saw two pennies coming out of it. There's one. And that's a one center so that is a weak penny hard pressed to find a date on that, but something's there. I might be able to see if I get it home. Here's another one. There is a one 
center too, also. And that date's not coming out either. But we got the right age coming out of here. There's a bolt. There's another bolt. You can see how these pennies were hidden. <clears throat> hidden with these brass bolts also. Okay. No silver. I think the eye bolt finds are pretty cool to videotape because you're seeing it just as I see it. And there's a little brass knob sticking right out right there. A nice piece of old glass there. I saw it just before I ran the detector over it because you can the eye will pinpoint symmetrical shapes and it'll key in on them. So you could look over a hundred thousand rocks in one place, but if you see something really round, your eye's gonna pinpoint on that. It's just a, a natural thing the eyes do. And sinking into that little knob, drawer knob maybe. It was sticking right out. That's why coins are sometimes so easy to spot, because it's unusual for anything to look that symmetrical. Like round. Piece of glass, pretty old, another piece of glass. I don't see anything else laying around. Once I get down here, I like to take advantage of it. So I don't keep going up and down, up and down. Mm, nothing else. That's old. That looks like another weedy came out of this hole. Seems like it's gonna be a weedy day today. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Let me rinse this bad boy off. That is no weedy. There's no question, that is an Indian. It's gonna be hard pressed to see that date. It's not a super old one, I think I see the 1.9. I'm gonna say it's anywhere between the 1900 and the 1908. That might even be a 1908. All right, first Indian of the day. Coins are getting a little bit older. Not quite sure what this is, but anything that size and brown. I'm gonna videotape. I'm feeling it's part of a clock. I thought I saw a little space in there somewhere I do. And puddle rinse it off. Puddles in. Yep. Some kind of this is some kind of gear for the clock. I stopped at this section here. As you can see how much I already picked up. A ton of iron and lead just sitting on top, which you can't you can't run the detector through and attempt to get any good signals. At least not without mine. I uh, figured I would kneel down and just pick up a few of the pieces and see what I can eyeball. This is what's within my reach, at least, without breaking my back, bending over. There's another piece. There's something sticking out the ground right here. See that? There's a piece of wire. I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. It is part of a fishing reel. It appears to be the casting. Whatever you call that casting wire flip that you flip over. Huh. Just walking into my spot this morning. It's early morning, it's about 9 a.m. Start of another day here at my favorite spot. And a little bit of glass sticking out of the sand here. And <clears throat> from the first look, it did look older than the other pieces. Look at this nice little top, cork top. Probably medicine related. And that is old. And that does, I don't know, if, oh, now I do see a line up the side. So that's probably right around the turn of the century. Take a look at the size of this bullet. And I got it next to a little piece of brass part off of it. The insides of a stopwatch, but look at this thing. With a few rings on it. <coughs> Bottom of it. That 
is a tiny lead pistol. Pistol ball. Pistol ball. I don't know. It's tiny. Look at this pretty piece of history just hanging out in the sun. I'm waiting for me to pluck her right out of this hole. I can tell right now that is a pretty looking key. Um, since all these bolts were in here, it was actually giving me a kind of a junky look at this. The lead, some brass bolts. I ran over this and it didn't get a really good signal. And this should have gave me an awesome signal. Look at this bad boy. Really pretty design on that. Right out of there. All these little pockets potentially have something laying in them because we're still getting a good washout in this area. Silver coins. Oh, that is cool. I'll take that. I'm gonna guess in this clump I just have a bunch of banged up pennies that's why I'm video recording it because at least there's more than one and the pennies in here they absolutely come out destroyed so I might be able to see that they're Wheaties or Indians oh that's a memorial so that's probably 70s or 80s let's see what she's hiding in there with oh this one is beef that is oh, there's Lincoln on it and and just about make out. Uh, yep, the wreath. That's a one center, so that's a weedy. And I think that might have been it. Let's just give me a little signal, a piece of brass. Yep, I'll double check it. Okay, I may have pulled out my silver for the day. I'm seeing all the requirements. There's black, there's roundness. Um, super awesome. It's the size of a quarter. And I'm going to see what year this is. I think maybe that is our big eagle. Yep, so that's going to be a Washington. I am still going to go clean it out. Water. That is a 100% silver quarter. Found very close to the edge. Maybe one. I've missed the hole. Looks like 61 silver quarter. Sweet. We got an older looking dime here and it's in pretty decent shape which is again very rare for this area. So I'm not going to wipe it off. Just as I suspected, we got another Barber Dime out of here. Can't really make out the date. I think if I just clear it up a little bit, that might be... I don't know, I can't really see it. But I know it's old. Barber Dime. Sweet. Pull the old quarter, then the old dime. And now I just pulled out of that clump. Tough signal, but it came up as clean as can be. I already wiped it off in the water. And that is a 1904, 1904 V nickel. And this one you can make out the V, which tends to get worn down pretty quickly. I believe. 
right next to what looks like an old locker key tag. Probably to one of the original beach clubs that we had. And another mark. Just a little swatch of cluster of dates or dates of the dates. Again, I like to record these little areas where there's some pockets of stones going on. You can see a target sitting in there. Looks like a little, little metal plate. Someone has something written on it. Thank <laughs> you.